family and friends have gathered tonight near the scene of a deadly crash in Nanakuli. A woman and her daughter were killed over the weekend by a man whom police say had been drinking. Police arrested the suspect but released him pending investigation. KITV Force Jeremy Lee has more with tonight's top story. About a mile up Haleakala Avenue from Farrington Highway, the road is lined with balloons and flowers, candles and photographs to remember the victims of Saturday's fatal crash. Neighbors and relatives of Kelsey Palispo and seven-year-old daughter Leah Hanakahi say that it should have been speed bumps and more signs along the roadside preventing this from ever happening, given the dangerous speeds at which people tend to drive here and that there are so many schools in the area. This is a school zone, 25 miles an hour, and we get guys speeding through here. It's really dangerous for the kids, the families that live in the area, the kids after and before school. Neighbors learned news today of the alleged drunk driver's history of speeding violations. They say it brings urgency to the task of slowing motorists down. And a lot of the families, especially in the homestead, you know, we, we all related somehow or another. We, we're a tight-knit community. We get people, families, walking up and down the roads, you know, and um, unfortunately there are drivers that don't think, don't use common sense, don't obey the laws, and, you know, it's tragic that it takes something like this to get people's attention. That was Jeremy Lee reporting.